Hey guys, this is your Tessa Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about an upcoming extreme significant tornado outbreak that will occur in portions of the south and southeast tomorrow and Thursday. This is a very life-threatening situation, and a high risk is possible, as noted by the Storm Prediction Center. Before we get into this, like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content and share this with friends and family and click the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload now let's get right into this but before we actually fully get into this if you live in any severe risk area make sure to have multiple ways to receive warnings as there will be widespread tornado warnings and strong tornadoes are likely strong and violent long track tornadoes um, that will tear off homes and destroy neighborhoods. Um, as noted by the Storm Prediction Center, a high risk is possible, not guaranteed, but a level five of five high risk is possible in the middle of this moderate risk by tomorrow. Whether that happens or not doesn't really matter. But what does matter is the severity of this event. It is a very, very dire situation for the South as there is a very large 15% significant tornado risk. 9.4 million people are in this hatched significant risk, that black line. Meaning 9.4 million people's life, at the minimum, are at risk for a strong tornado to occur. And sh multiple strong and violent tornadoes are likely to occur. There is a large 30% significant wind risk with wind gusts exceeding 80 miles per hour in non-tornadic storms. And there's a large, once again, significant hail risk with hail potentially the size of baseballs. This is really a very, very, very bad situation for the South. Lives will probably be lost. It's inevitable. Um, hopefully, none will get lost. But you can prevent the loss of your life by keeping up to date with forecasts, warnings, making sure you have multiple ways to receive warnings, and make sure you know what to do if you get in a tornado warning in this situation. The outbreak does not end there. It continues into Thursday from Georgia into the Carolinas, where a large enhanced risk is currently highlighted with a moderate risk additionally not out of question. Currently, 16.5 million people reside in the enhanced risk. The SPC notes once again strong and violent tornadoes are also possible on Thursday, particularly in this black hatched region. Once again, if you live in any area that has a severe risk, please have multiple ways to receive warnings. This is not a good situation at all, and it scares me to see these images that you're seeing because I know what's about to happen to these people. So please make sure you have multiple ways to receive warnings. This is a very serious situation. State of emergencies are already being declared in multiple states ahead of the severe weather outbreak. But let's get right into the models briefly. This is the run from the HRRR model, the one of the short range models. And you can see this is Wednesday afternoon, tomorrow afternoon. You can see multiple storms, some supercells, in the Mississippi, Alabama region with a line coming across from Louisiana to Arkansas. Already here at this time period, there could probably be a strong tornado or two on the ground. And as we move ahead into the late afternoon, early evening hours, that line really gets defined with some embedded tornadoes in it. With these little uh, supercells and storms firing up, basically, and producing tornadoes. This is very serious. It's a very scary looking image as this line pushes eastward into the overnight hours for these people. And generally, it does weaken with eastward extent. However, it re-strengthens, as you can see here in the morning of Thursday, just in time for the enhanced risk for portions of the southeast. This is a significant tornado parameter. The higher the number, the more serious the tornado threat is really. You can already see numbers up to four, widespread two plus, it's really not good. And you can even see some areas of fives, 
close to fives, fours again. It's not, not a good situation at all. Not good. That's the Chester weather forecast for this upcoming very extreme tornado outbreak that will occur tomorrow and Thursday. Have multiple ways to receive warnings and stay up to date with the latest forecast. It only takes one tornado to ruin people's lives. And there will be multiple tornadoes, not just one. So please keep up to date with warnings. Protect your life. Know what to do. And yeah, that's about all I have for you today. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.